Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge, and welcome back to Distant Kingdoms, where last time out we welcomed citizens to our dwarven settlement up in the mountains, so the citizens are the next level of resident up from peasants, so they're a little bit fancy, are the citizens, they have quite high opinions of themselves, and as such they have different needs to accommodate their fancier lifestyle, or what they think is a fancier lifestyle anyway. So over here we now have farms producing beef because they do love some beef to our citizens. In fact, they love beef so much that if we look at the quarter of the town that they live in, they live in the We Love Beef quarter because they just love beef so much over here. So they're getting lots of lovely beef from the farm over there. And then over here, we have ourselves a little farm that is producing some wool of some sort. Now we do need to do something with that momentarily. We will get to that very shortly indeed. And also we have ourselves a magical totem just here, the totem of great riches, because that helps us bring in even more money from our citizens because do you know what if they want beef then they can pay more for it I say beef does not come cheap so the totem helps us generate a little bit more money from them which is all very nice and do you know what they think they're so fancy anyway over here and they're very extravagant houses compared to the peasant houses so do you know what yes they can pay a little bit more money thank you very much we also saw our brave firefighters from over here in our wonderful fire station deal with a fire over in the bakery over here so yes the bakery was a blaze it was a terrible site somebody had left their bread in the toaster for too long or something I don't know and our fire team ran in and sorted it all out and it was wonderful so no damage done everything went back to normal over the bakery so well done fire squad it was very impressive it was your first test well, certainly the first test that we'd seen anyway. It was the first one that we actually saw happening. So well done you lot in there. That was splendid. So overall, I think things are going quite well. Things are going very nicely indeed. Happiness is looking pretty good at 76%. Our next tech objective is to unlock schools which sounds like quite a good thing to do. And I think that might make these lot over here feel a little bit happier as well. So we might see the happiness creep up once we have schools. But to get the schools in, we need more residents. We need to get ourselves 110 residents. So it doesn't necessarily mean citizens. It just means 110 people living in your little settlement. So that's fine. We can get that sorted. That's not a problem. I think really we should just build a load of extra houses because we're not earning that much money. We're not earning that many crescents every time you know, the tax man goes around and does the tax collecting. We're not getting too much cash. So I think if we just go on a bit of a house building spree, we could bring in quite a lot of money because this is kind of holding us back. In terms of other resources, we're doing quite well. We've got quite a lot of stone. We've got an awful lot of water. We've got a lot of wood, which we do need to look at as well at some point, but we'll look at that in a bit. And then, yeah, all the other resources are looking pretty good as well. Nice amount of beef, good amount of berries. Everything is looking good. But yes, we're sort of running out of money on occasion. It's yeah, taking a little while to tick up. It's very slow in coming in. So let's get loads more houses. I mean, I'm thinking over here, we could just get more peasant houses. That's absolutely fine. We could just build a road along here and then just put another row of peasant houses over this way. And there's a little bit of room over here as well. Look, within range of the, uh, the, you know, the totem of hygiene, the washing your hands totem and the hand sanitizer totem. So we could put houses down here We've got loads of space over here where we could put some stuff. So let's get that done, shall we? Let us get ourselves a nice road going in. Yeah, let's just have it going in right down the side of the right down the side of the tavern thing just there. And then we will get a house. So where can we put the house that's near as we can over there? So one and two. Oh, it's all going a bit weird. It's going a bit strange and glitchy. There we go. Four ah, and five. We can get five in like that. And then we can get ourselves, we can get, hang on, hang on, this could be quite good. We rotate that round, pop that just, oh, hang on. Oh, no, we haven't got enough money. Hang on a second. We need a tiny bit more money. There we go. There we go, up to 39. Right, so then pop that just there. So that house should actually be able to be built because they can get to it on a road. Now, the only thing is, these houses here are not on a road just yet. How expensive is it going to be to get that road in? 15. Okay, right, we'll build it in sections. It's fine. We'll build a little bit. And then we shall wait for more money to come in. And this is what we mean. This is quite slow. This is quite slow. Actually, we can have a look at that. There's a little sort of thing. Now, is the mana one working? No, the mana one isn't working. But the money one, apart from it's got the word paused in the way, it doesn't help. Um, net change last month, minus 27. I mean, we did spend quite a bit of money. So it says there, what are we doing? We're getting 208 money from tax. However, we are spending 133 of that money on building maintenance. That seems like quite a lot. And Crescent spent on bureaucratic charges last month. I don't even know what that means. What bureaucratic charges are we actually paying out? 
That seems quite expensive. 52. 52 of our wonderful, wonderful income is going on bureaucracy. That can't be good. That's a quarter, almost, of everything we earn. In fact, it is a quarter, isn't it? Uh, hang on, Math with Penge, 52, 104. Yeah, exactly one quarter of all the stuff that we earn is going on bureaucracy and red tape and stuff. Yeah, that's not good. That can't be good at all. Right, let's get those houses in. There we go. Right, so more houses are being constructed. That means that this will be complete. Then I think we should get a school in. There we go. Look, lots of people coming in. Right, so we can now do this. This is all fine. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Are there any random event things popping up? The little market is experiencing a shortage of beef. Really? Hang on. Which one is the little market? Hang on a second. The oh, hang on. I can hear... What's that noise I can hear? That noise I can hear. It sounded like a building was on fire. There is. The building's on fire. <laughs> I was going to say, I can hear what sounds like flames. Hang on a second. Hang on. Is that within range of the fire service? Uh, yes, it is. Here they come. Here they come. Wonderful. It looks like, actually... Hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on. Wait there, wait there, fire service. Pause time for a second. Now, I can't zoom in anymore. This is the fire service. It looks like a kind of a big, kind of like a highland cow or an ox or something, with a kind of, you know, a barrel of water on its back. But there's no people. How does this operate? This is fascinating. Okay, right, you need to hurry up a bit because... You know, the house is on fire and such. So that'd be good if you could get that out. How does this work? There's no people. I assume the people are coming at a later day today. Because now this thing is just stood here. <laughs> oh no, it it's worked. Okay. Well, well done. Very, very resourceful cow ox thingamajig. Um, okay, I'm not going to pretend how I, I understand how that works. I don't know. That doesn't seem to make any sense to me at all. But there you go. Right, that thing is put out of fire. It's all good. Well, there we go. With that drama now out of the way, and hopefully no more buildings are on fire, we can go back to looking at this. So we have ourselves, let's pause the time a second, 290 crescents. That is very good. So we're now earning 277 monies which is great. That is very good. So 277 a month. Uh, we are spending 79 a month, however, on bureaucracy now. So that is creeping up. So the more people we actually have, the more we're spending on bureaucracy. I guess it's like a sort of a, a sort of you know, an overall council tax or something. You know, we're having to you know, go and collect their rubbish and empty the bins and look after the roads and such like. I guess that's what that sort of is, I'm kind of imagining. But okay, that's fine. So what we could do is, we've got 290 money. We could go along this row of houses that we've just put together and we could increase their density because we have plenty of wood, plenty of stone and we could get the density increased which means two more people can live in that house. However, to do that it will require some wood and whilst right now we have a lot of wood, we have 714 bits of wood lying around in the storage areas somewhere, um, we're not producing any more because of course we saw these uh, these things actually run out of wood although that one looks fine now. Hang on. Did we plant additional trees for these places? I don't remember planting additional trees. Oh, maybe we did. All the trees have grown back naturally. I don't remember planting these. Oh, okay, do you know what? We don't need to plant any trees and the wood is fine. Right, there you go. Well, we know we're spending our money. I could have sworn that we that we didn't have the money to pay for upgrading. The, yeah, not upgrading, for planting a load of trees. Okay, well, there's a thing. Ah, yes, and, hang on, this place is not so bad, but over here... Um, in the last part, I was musing and saying, oh, it'd be really good, it'd be really useful if they could just auto-plant berries, rather than us having to go and check on it all the time and say, oh, the berries have ran out, hang on, let's plant some more. It'd be great if they could automatically do that. Oh, well, never mind, it's not a thing in the game and such like. And then loads of people in the comments said, did you not see this uh, this big box here that says auto-regrow? So, um, yeah, we'll try and tick that, but it does say it requires the dedicated planters technology. So we don't have it right now. We don't have this. We cannot tick auto-regrow, unfortunately. So yes, we'll tick that when we can. Where is dedicated planters? In fact, you know what? We might as well go and unlock our um, unlock our school tech. Thank you very much. Where is... Oh, it's just there. Oh, okay. Then yes, let us have this. We need a school and we need some more people. That's fine. We'll get that. Yeah, we'll get that done right now. So yeah, at some point we'll be able to turn that on. We'll do a bit of planting. And we'll do a bit of planting over there as well. Many berry bushes have appeared. Yeah, I could have sworn that we didn't have the money to do this. Perhaps we did. And I've just entirely, entirely forgotten. I've been to sleep multiple times since I last played this. So the chance is that I completely forgot. I thought that we didn't have enough money. 
whatever the case, we now have lots of wood coming in because there are trees around there again, which is nice. So let's upgrade these buildings here. Not upgrade them to the next sort of citizen level. Let's turn them into fancy sort of, you know, medium density buildings. So there we go. There's one. There is two. Pop over to, hang on a minute, that one there. Oh, I wonder if we can click on the building we couldn't click on before. Let's see if we can click on that building. Because, yeah, we click on that one and click on this one here. Right, so there we go. All upgraded. Nice, high-density things going on. All very wonderful. Right, this building here. We couldn't click on this before. Ah, now we can. Wonderful. Okay, right, so upgrade to the next density. And because this is over here in Citizen Town, we're going to upgrade that to a Citizen Building as well. Okay, good stuff. There we go. It looks much better. Right, so there's that all sorted. So we've got ourselves quite a few more people in. I do notice that around here, there is a little bit of space. We have 74 crescents. Hang on, let's just speed time on. 74 at the end of the month, up to 93. It's not very much, is it? We're spending so much money on bureaucracy. This is silly. Um, how about, how about we put in some lovely decorative items? There's a little gap there. I think we can put some decoratives in. Or do we put a road in? Because people are, people are walking that way, look. People are walking that way, but I assume the carts can't go that way. And it might make life a bit easier if there was a road there, you know. Do you know what? There you go. We'll put a road in. Splendid. I mean, where can we put... I assume we can't put decorative items. We have to put them in a blank space, I guess. Okay, that's fine. Well, there we go. That's that all sorted. Right, what do we need to build a school? Uh, whereabouts would that be? It wouldn't be an industry. A service building, I imagine. A school. Right, okay. So we need 240 money. Right, we're not quite there yet. And we need... Oh, I see. We need tools and we need marble. And we have no tools and we have no marble at all. Right. Okay. How do we get tools? Let's try and address that, shall we? So the tool maker uh, manufactures the finest tools of the trade. I'm sure they do. Uh, however, they are going to require some sort of some sort of iron. Are they not? So if we go to primary industry, an iron mine. A mine sourcing the finest iron. So we can build it in terms of wood. Can't build it in terms of crescents, but... Where can we get iron from? Because that's a stone mine. <laughs> Where is an iron... Ah, what's that? That looks promising. Hang on, come out of that. What is that? That's coal. Okay, it's useful. It's a good thing. It isn't what we're after, however. Um, right, we might need to go and do more exploring because I don't think we can see the deposits of things until we've actually explored those particular areas. Okay, Right, that's going to be tricky to do. Dedicated planters is going to be quite hard to do because we haven't got anywhere near the stuff we need to build a school. Um, how about then? Okay, world overview. Can we go to here and explore this bit of the world? Because we're near the little portal thing for it. Or do we go over here? I mean, this bit's quite near. Actually, let's go to... Let's go to there. Yeah, oh, hang on. I've, I've done the wrong button. Hang on a minute. Exploration... Uh, right, send our heroes on an adventure to just there, please. So head over there, if you would be so kind, and just see what there is. And because our party are going out and doing lots of adventuring, they are levelling up. Now there are two action points of the party, rather than one. Um, okay, all right, a thing to deal with, the house. The party has encountered a group of imps. Again, do we not encounter imps before? We've been following them for some time, looking for a way to cause total chaos. They find that when the party happens upon a ruined house, the imps beckon them forward with evil grins. Should the party follow? Oh, go on then. Yeah, go on. We'll follow. Let's go and see what's going on. As the party nears the house, they can see that it was once a grand place. Perhaps the home of Inneron's, of one of Inneron's former inhabitants. The doors and windows on the ground floor are blocked up. However, I mean, the only way through is an upstairs window. Okay, so what do we need? An athletic character or an illusionist? This is very familiar. Have we not seen this similar thing before? Okay, an athletic character. Again, we have nobody who is athletic. We've got no athletic people and we have no illusionist people. So who shall we get to go and try and either do a bit of... I mean, investigating. It says investigate the surrounding area and then the tooltip says use an illusionist to dispel an illusion and find a safe way up to the window. Is that investigating? I mean, you've got detective. Maybe you could uncover something. Investigate the surrounding area. A sturdy looking ladder is revealed. Okay, so the party are in the house. That is good. 
now let's see what happens. We'll let time tick on. Money's coming in. They're gathering resources. I'm sure everyone's fine. The house. Okay. Yeah, I think we've seen this before, haven't we? Yeah, okay. So it looks it looks ruined on the outside. It's nice on the inside. We want to go and explore. Okay. What are you waiting for? Time to explore. A well, hold up. We should probably check to see if this place is booby trapped. I think that's a good idea. Um, You, Marine, can you check to see if there are traps? Because you are perceptive and you can notice that there might be traps around. So to go and have a little look around. Yep, several traps were revealed. Yep, okie dokie, we're going to head downstairs. I think this is what we had last time. I think this is very, very, very similar indeed. But okay, fine, we'll keep going through. Um, they're greeted by a variety of sounds. Scurrying little hooves can be heard all around them, followed by that evil little chuckle we all know so well. Where are the noises coming from? All right, you've got sharp hearing. Oh, let's do that. Yeah, you there, so Elna... You search carefully for the imps, please. It seems the imps are moving around inside the house's walls, out of sight and out of harm's way. They've settled in the basement. Okay, right, so head down to the basement. Please be some useful stuff on this particular tile. Otherwise, it's going to be very, very pointless. All this stuff. Oh, no, look, we've got nobody could meet the requirements. Okay, as so the party is plunged into darkness, panic ensues until some bright spot remembers the torches in their pack. With the light on their side once more, they step forward and find the imps before them. They cackle in unison, and one tells them the door behind them is now sealed forever, unless the party can convince them to open it again. Okay, we do have two party action points. And Orwen has not had a go yet. I mean, it would make sense for you to... Hang on. Hang on. Are you a... Wasn't... Didn't we have a jeweller? I thought we had somebody who could do dueling. Um, maybe we haven't. I thought we did. Um, yeah, you're barbarians, detectives, water magic. Oh, okay, obviously not. So we can use a shady character or a jeweler. I mean, we'll get we'll get Orwin here. Orwin is a barbarian. He's a furious, courageous barbarian who can see in the dark, which is handy. So how about you just go and attack the imps? Because you're quite fighty. So okay, the imps are a brave sort and they fight back valiantly. With their tricks and illusions, they can keep everyone on their toes for hours. Drat. Okay. So Orwin is not the person. Okay, Elna, um, can you attack them with the party AP? Um, hang on. Party AP, attack the... Oh, hang on. Oh, no, we can't attack the imps. It's bribe the imps. Oh, okay. A shady character. We have nobody shady. However, she is quite charming. Sophina is quite charming. So how about you use one of the party action points and try and charm them? The imps can't resist shiny things. They gladly accept the bribe and open the door, releasing the party. Okay, and there you go. We've been successful in clearing the encounter. We can now build in the hex. Okay, please tell me there is something good here. Because that was a lot of trouble. There is nothing at all. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, hang on. Hang on. There's something just there. What is this? Please, please say it's something useful. Iron. Iron is just here. Hang on. Can we go here? Are we allowed in that particular place? I think we might be. Oh, hang on. Maybe we didn't need to do that. It's no bad thing expanding, is it? We can get iron from over here. Right. Okay. And what we might want to do is we might want to get ourselves a pair of the magic portal things. How is our mana looking? It's on 92. We might need another mana well to generate some more magic and then another pair of portal things. Because it's going to take ages to move the, the iron from here to any warehouse. That's going to take an awfully long time. So how about we do that as well? Right, first things first then. Let's get things done. So uh, what would it be? Service buildings? Yeah, a manor well. Where doesn't have one of these? Over this side. Why don't we put one over there? There we go. We'll spread them around the place. It's all good. It can go near the thing it's powering possibly. Right, so pop that there. And hopefully someone can come in and sort that out relatively quickly. And then we shall place ourselves an iron mine, uh, primary industry. So an iron mine over that. It's just, what's that? What's that showing us? It's just within radius of the warehouses. Is that it? I think it might be just within radius of a warehouse. Okay, that's fine. I'll take just within radius. It's better than out of radius. Okay, yes, please. Build just there. Is the manor well in? Yes, the manor well is in. People are working in it. It's all wonderful. We don't seem to be earning any manor at all from the extra manor well. 
Why are we not earning any extra mana? Now, of course, this is early access and you know, the game is being developed and changed and our save game will be, we started this on an older version. So maybe, maybe there is something slightly odd going on with the mana. Maybe our mana is always going to be stuck at 92 now and forevermore because it's not changing. Our money, our money is absolutely pouring in. It's wonderful, but yeah, the mana isn't changing at all. Okay, that is somewhat weird. Um... Okay, right, well, do you know what? Let's link this up via a road. So let's bring that... Oh, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Um, okay, bring it round to there, and then bring it round the back of here, like that. And then also, what we'll do is, just to try and connect things up a little bit better, bring that straight over there like that. Okay, so a little kind of transport network thing set up over there. And then, okay, is this going to work? If we build ourselves magic portals, is this going to be a good thing? Um, where are they? Oh, they're in here. They're in here. Okay, so if we build ourselves a portal, let's put it... Do you want to put it over here? So they can walk down here to the portal, put, you know, put whatever it is in the portal, go through the portal, and then pop out over here. That's going to be quite handy. The other thing is, yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about the mana. Is it going to work? And they could walk over here to the portal if they want. And they could walk around the corner to the portal. I think that's our best bet. Okay, hang on. Right, so portal just there, please. And then another one over here. So it's near the market, possibly. In fact, where are we going to put? Hang on. We're getting iron. And then iron is going to be worked by a person that's making tools and stuff. I mean, they could go in there. That could be a little area for... You know, doing blacksmithing and such like. Yes, we'll pop that just there. Okay, so now we have two portals. Yeah, our mana's going all over the place. Up to 92 again. Maybe we can only have 92. Maybe that's the maximum. I thought the maximum was 100, but maybe it's capped out at 92 for some reason. I don't know why, but it's fine. There we go. A thing has happened. Right, we have ourselves an iron mine. This is, this is huge. This is very big stuff indeed. Right, how about then? Right, jobs. Let's try and encourage the dwarves because dwarves love working in mines. There you go. Efficiency goes up by 40. Good grief. Okay, that's that's exceptionally good. Um, and then what's this? A crane operator reduces maintenance costs. I'm not so bothered about that. We've got loads of money coming in now. It's all fine. Uh, let's give them strengthened pickaxes. So yes, please. So efficiency up to 135. That is excellent. And now everything else I think needs tools. So let's have a quick look. Have we upgraded everything here? So they've got... Oh no, we'll, you know what? We'll go on a little upgrading spree. It's fine. So yeah, they can have it as well. Ah, so the upgrades are per building, per individual specific building, not per building type. So this one here could have strength and axes, and that, no, that one over there could not. Okay. That's fine, though. That's all good. And then over here, can we upgrade this place at all? Um, better grain stores. Efficiency up by 20. Yes, we might as well. How about the bakery? Can we upgrade that? Extra mixing bowls. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Yes, absolutely. Have many more bowls. Have as many bowls as you need. Can we upgrade the farm? I just noticed the farm is called the Poison Ivy Farm. <laughs> No, no, who named this? No, no, this isn't. This is a terrible name. Hang on, right? We can we can change the name. Although it has gone a bit strange looking. Uh, right, no, not the poison ivy farm. There we go. The super healthy ivy farm. This ivy will not kill you. It will make you super healthy and lovely. I mean, really, it's a kind of a grain farm, but it's okay. Right? Do we want to give them sharpened scythes? That's twenty efficiency increases maintenance by one. So there I am going. Oh goodness me, we don't have any gold, and here I am upgrading everything and increasing the maintenance. It's fine. It's all okay. Right, so that's upgraded. They've got their fancy bowls. An expanded pantry. Oh, this is wonderful. I like all these. Can we upgrade these? No, we can't upgrade those. Yeah, we haven't got any elf residents. We can't uh, We can't get the manor wells working any better. Can we upgrade these? Um, foraging training. Yeah, okay. We'll have a bit of foraging training. Thank you very much. We might as well. So, yes, please. Right, what are the builders? Oh, hang on. The farms. Yeah. Can we upgrade the farms? Improved barns. Very important. Yes. There you go. On Dragon Tooth Farm. And then of a feather farm. And you've got beef. No, you can't be called of a feather farm. Hang on. The no. 
No feather farm. That's better because there are no feathers because you've got cows. Um, okay, and you can have improved barns well. Okay, so we're just making things a little bit more efficient around here. This is all good. Right, now one thing we do need to do actually, hang on a second, pause time. We do have, I imagine in storage, quite a lot of wool. We've got a lot of wool going on now, but we're not doing anything with the wool. So some of our houses here, if we look over here, you can see that the Dwarven citizens, they need water. That's fine. There's a well over here. There is much water in the marketplace. They've got their beef. They love beef over here. It's wonderful. So they've got beef, but they have no basic clothing. And that's maybe why their happiness is coming down a little bit. They're not very happy because they've not got one of their basic needs. So we need to get in somebody who can turn the wool into actual clothes. So how about secondary industry? We get ourselves a weaver. You make the best quality basic clothing. Okay. <laughs> It's a like contradiction of terms, but okie doke. And we'll put you over here. That should be fine. Not much else can go along there. So we'll put you just here. Yeah, because this bit here is just a big cliff. So we're not going to be able to fit much into here. So we might as well put... We'll put the weaver... Yeah, we'll put the weaver just there. There we go. Now, if we could get that done really quickly, that would be really handy. Because, yeah, this lot are not happy. And our happiness is coming down somewhat. So, yeah, what do they need? 80 stone and 150 wood. Oh my goodness me. Um, how can we make... They've got courier upgrades, haven't they? Um, how do you do the next one? Ah, tools. Right. We need tools for the next courier upgrade. Um, how about... Um, is that the only warehouse we've got? Oh yeah, we were thinking about putting a warehouse in over here, weren't we? Okay, that's all fine. Right, but now you are in. We now have ourselves a weaver called Elegance Tailoring. That is a very good name. Make basic clothing, please. And we'll get some <laughs> additional bobbin storage. <laughs> okay. I don't know why it's quite so expensive. I mean, how expensive? How big is a bobbin? I don't really know. Um, do you know what? It's fine. More room for bobbins. The more the merrier. Okay, right. So there's a load of bobbins in there now. And hopefully, hopefully they will be able to produce lots of lovely basic clothes. And the basic clothes can go to these people here and they will be happy and not grumpy with their lives anymore. Right. Happiness 59%. Uh, down to 56%. But some people should be picking up basic clothing because there's loads of it in here. Unless I'm not taking it out. Ah, it has now left the building, I think. It's left the building. So some people... There we go. Basic clothing. Hopefully you lot should be happy. And your happiness just went down. Ah, uh, thanks for giving me clothes. I'm miserable now. No dwarves in the dwarven citizen house. Have a smiley face. A smiley face, please. Why are they sad? Oh, there's not enough basic clothing. There's not enough basic clothing to go around. Maybe we need more farms. Because has everyone got beef as well? Does everybody have beef? You've got beef. I think most people do have... I mean, surely. I mean, basic clothing it should last quite a long time, I would have thought. But okay, maybe not. Yeah, they've not got beef or basic clothing, but happiness is creeping up. Okay, that is very good. That is good stuff. Right, do we have much in the way of in the way of iron? Where would that go? Because we have an iron mine there. Two, oh, we've got 222 iron. Okay, <laughs> perhaps we should do something with that. Um, okay, secondary industry. I think we're going to need an iron smelter. We're going to need an iron smelter. And then a tool maker is also going to be required to turn the iron into useful tools. The only thing is, I'm imagining the iron smelter is going to need some coal. And the coal is all the way over there. Okay, how are we going to connect this up? What if we put another portal there and a portal there? They can go through one portal, pop out there, go through that portal and pop out near the storage. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, okay, we'll do that, I think. So we'll put the iron smelter and stuff along here. And this can be our little sort of industrial area. I don't imagine anyone cares. No one's going to be sort of fussy that they live next door to a, a smelly iron smelter, though. Do people care? I don't know. I don't know if there's that sort of thing in this game. Um, we'll put them along here, then. So let's... I've pressed R for rotate. Hang on a minute. It's not R. Um, we'll put one of them just there. And then we will get a tool maker in as well. In their fancy, extravagant, gigantic house. Um, okay, we'll have one of them just there. And there we go. Do you know what? Can we turn off the... I know we've got a wibbly totem on. Uh, lenses. Can we turn it off? Totem radius. Oh, that's much nicer. 
there we go. It's handy to see you know, at a certain point, but it you know, does make your eyes go a bit funny after a while. Okay, so let's get those in. And then, yes, we're going to need to get this thing up here set up. So, primary industry and a coal mine. And it's... Is that out of our radius? Bother. Okay, right. Hang on a second. Hang on. What do we need for larger warehouses? We need more citizens. I wouldn't mind building a larger warehouse somewhere. Kind of over here somewhere, I think, might be useful. Or over here. We're going to build probably over here anyway. There's going to be people living here at some point. So maybe if we just build ourselves a little road network, and then we can try and plan houses and stuff, and then put a warehouse in the middle over here. Okay, do you know what? We're moving away from dedicated planters temporarily. How about we set our focus to medium warehouses? Most exciting of all the things. So we just need more citizens. Okay, we can probably deal with that. We can cope with that. That one over there, that's just stone. We already have a... We have the stone mine. That's a stone mine. Yeah, okay. So we don't need to concentrate on that bit right now. Okay, now what would be handy is having the thingamabob back so we can build citizen houses within this radius so we can get more money off them. Okay, this is all good. Right, pause time for a second. We've got quite a lot of money. So we should be okay to build a lot of houses. Okay, so one house there. And then we are going to have to be a bit careful here because we want to get a road in behind them just in case. So one house, two house, three houses. Okay. And then can we have some more houses? So one and two across there. And then get the road in like that. Bring them in like that. So that's some residents coming in, which is good. Bring that down there. We'll put some decoratives in. Hooray, we can have decoratives. And then across here, no one can... We can't do anything else with this space because, you know, big, dangerous, deadly cliff. So how about we get some more houses in? We just go one and two and three. I think that is as much as we can do. And then decoratives. Yay for the decoration. There's four things here. Why don't we just put some nice decorations down? How about we have some food along here? How about we just have some people? Some of the people living here are budding, budding farmers and they want to, you know, gardeners and want to go out and plant some things. So let's have that just there. And can we rotate that round so it's a bit different like that? And then we'll have, how about some tomatoes go in there? And then we'll have some carrots. Well, that's got a bit of wall attached to it. Hang on. Yeah, that one. Pop that there. There we go. I quite like that. Splendid. Okay, and then hopefully these houses can get done sooner rather than later. Okay, here we go. This is very good. So we now have ourselves, we've got ourselves an iron smelter called Hot Iron. Makes sense. I like it. And then the tool maker is called, <laughs> is called Screwfix. Hang on a minute. You're going to come into all sorts of uh, copyright issues later on. Okay, but they take iron ingots and coal and turn it into tools. And the smelter takes iron and coal and turns it into iron ingots. So we need the coal in, but we don't really want to get all that bit sorted yet until we have ourselves the requisite amount of citizens. Okay, it's all fine. Right, everybody just chop chop, build these houses super quickly, please. Okay, the last building is being completed. There we go. So of course they all start off as peasant houses. So let's upgrade the density of these, please. Now I know there is a tiny hit to uh, happiness, when you upgrade the density, there is a minus 5% happiness cost on that, which seems a little bit harsh, but okay, it's fine. Right, so get many of these in. Those two over there are done as well. How is the money looking with this? It's looking fine. It's looking fine. The money is coming in quite nicely indeed. Right, and then let's actually turn these into citizens. So that's 48. We might even need to build some more. We might need more houses. Okay, citizen house, citizen, citizen, citizen. That's Four, that's 59. Are we just going to fall? We might fall agonizingly short. We are, we're one short of getting larger warehouses. Okay, fine. Right, we need one house. Okay. <laughs> Where can we put one house? It doesn't fit just there somewhat, unfortunately. Um, can it fit there? No. I don't think we can. Oh, you know, we could put it over here. It'll be quite close to that mine when we get it in, because we might as well put a mine there for the sake of it. But let's pop one more house just there. 
There we go. Get that in. Oh, hang on. Residents up to 120. We've got 154. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, no. Citizens. How did we do that then? I assume just people hadn't moved in. Oh, okay, no. Belay that order. Um, yeah, demolish that. Get rid of that. That's absolutely fine. Okay, now we do have access to large warehouses. Okay, unlock that. Phew, there we go. Right, so we've got that sorted. What do we want to go for now? I mean, marble. We're going to need marble at some point as well. We need a marble mine. But now, yeah, we can go back to you know, the school. I don't think we can get dedicated planters because we can't get marble and we need marble to build the school. Is that right? My goodness me. Hang on a minute. Service building, school. Yeah, a school requires marble. I mean, that's a bit fancy, isn't it? That's very fancy. Uh, that's all very showy offy indeed. At my school, you'd be lucky if you had pencils and chairs. They've got marble things. Okay, <laughs> okay. Fine, fine. We need marble. So we're not going to get that done at any point soon. So how about fruit farming? Oh, we've done fruit farming. Okay, set that focus and unlock that. We might as well. <gasps> What's that? Oh, it's cider. I thought that was tea. Oh, my heart is broken. I thought that was a lovely cup of tea. Look at it. I mean, that's a that's a mug of tea right there. That's a mug of tea. Um, I think humans like cider, don't they? Yeah, the humans will be thankful. Yeah, we haven't got any beer. We possibly should sort that out as well. There are many, many things that we haven't got sorted. Um, yeah, wine is for the elves. Cider is for the humans. Beer is for the dwarves. And whiskey is for the orcs, I believe. Okay. So, I mean, marble is the next thing. So let's set, let's set our focus. Oh, hang on. I think we can unlock this. Set focus, unlock. Maybe this shows us marble deposits or something. Maybe we can now see if there is some marble lying around. Is there any marble lying around, anybody? <laughs> any marble? What's that? What's that? That's just a rock sticking out of the grass. It's not exciting. It's all fine. Um... What if we come down here through the portly thing? Are there any rocks or anything down here that look marbly? No, maybe because we've not explored that region. Okay, right. We might need to go and do a little bit more exploring. Over to the world map. Let's go to... I think we should go to there. I think we should go to there. So exploration. You've got the Go-Go Cover Rangers. Now have three party action points. Oh, this is wonderful. Right, send on an adventure to here. I don't quite know why they're not going there, because that seems the next logical point to explore, because that's where the portal goes. Oh, do you know what? Go there. It's all fine. It's where we kind of want to go. Right, return to our kingdom for now. Right, so now we can get... We've got that. Yep, yeah, thank you. We've got marble. That's all good. So yes, now we can get ourselves a little bit of a grid set up over here, and then we can put our large warehouse in, and then we might want to get some more peasant housing in possibly going up there and then some more citizen housing going in over that way maybe that's the best thing for us um also we might need some more farms we might need some more farms so let's build a road going across like that this bit here can be oh no that's for berries isn't it that's for berries also plant more berries more things please okay so maybe we have ourselves where can we put other farms we're going to need more wool and more beef, I believe. Yeah, we've only got two beef. We have got 186 wool. Maybe we need another... Maybe we need another tailor. A weaver, whatever they are. Maybe that would be helpful. Because, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of the wool, but they're only able to make so much. There's only, whatever, six of them. How about we upgrade the... Hang on, hang on. Jobs. Who is good at uh, who's good at weaving humans botherations? Do you know what? Who is going to be good in here? Surely the dwarves are going to be good at doing the iron smelting. That's very much a dwarven thing. And tool making. Surely that's a dwarf thing as well. Yes. There we go. Right. So dwarves good at the industrial stuff. So I think, I think what we need to do is where can we put where can we put fields? Because we need some fields and. Where should we put another one of these? Let's just get another weaver in. Put them next door to the other one. It's all fine. There we go. Pop you in next door. Little kind of weaving buddies over there. That's all good. And then, yeah, I think maybe we should have a warehouse here. And then some peasant houses there. Possibly some farms over this way. Because we need more. We need more beef. More beef is required. 
Unless we just build along. Where does that reach? Okay, no, that's fine. We could build... We could build here. We could have a farm here going out that way. And have beef over here. That would be quite good. Or we could have some houses over here. Oh, now I'm just dithering. Hang on a minute. Right. First things first. Let's get ourselves a medium warehouse. And we'll put that in over here. Because why not? Um, we'll put that there. Like that. No, we won't. Oh, we need tools. Okay. Oh, we might need to put a small warehouse in there again. <laughs> Oh, my best laid plans of mice and pendra. Okay, there we go. Right, so road. We'll have a road going up like this, like so. And then we will have ourselves a coal mine upon this thing here. Pop that there. Hang on, what do we need? We need more wood and more money. Oh, yeah, we've completely burned through all of our money. Okay, no, it's fine. Yeah, understood, understood, Mr. Mister Finance Man. It's all good. Hang on a minute. We'll just... We'll just sit back and wait for a bit and we'll get some more money, hopefully. And the Go-Go Cupboard Rangers have uncovered a hex. Okay, so they're down here. Ah, more iron. That is very handy. Uh, we've got no tech research going on right now. I know because we can't unlock anything. It's all very unfortunate. Okay, are they back home yet? Yes, they are. Okay, go on an adventure just there, please. Explore over there and see what wonderful things are kind of in this part of the world. If you could find marble, that would be great. Thanks. Oh, hang on a minute. I think they have found marble. Is that marble? Yes. They have found a marble deposit. Well done, Go Go Cupboard Rangers. However, as well as a marble deposit, they have also found an ancient settlement which contains a wraith, which is probably not a good thing. Okay, so they encountered a wraith while exploring what they believe to be an abandoned settlement from times past, shrouded in mist. The wraith hasn't seen a real living soul since it died many years ago, and honestly, it's been bored stiff. It wants to play a few games within the settlement. Okay. Now, this is this is important here. A few games. I mean, what games are we talking here? I mean, if we're talking hopscotch or table tennis, then brilliant. Crack on, Wraith. We'll have some fun. If you're talking about, you know, whose arm can I break the most or which one of you screams loudest while I murder you in the face games, I don't want to play those games. Um, do you know what? It's fine. This is what we're here for. They're brave, noble, hero, explorer types. Let's begin the encounter and see what happens. The party steps into the mist. It's cold and close, but they press on. They decide to have a quick breather inside one of the abandoned houses. However, the door is locked from the inside. There appears to be a puzzle next to the lock. However, we have a few people that look like we can deal with this. So, Marine has got Intelligent. Okay, use an intelligent character to solve the puzzle or kick the door down. Okay, right. I would have thought Barbarians would have been, would have been strong. It says there, a barbarian is not afraid to deal with their problems head on with the big hammer. I mean, you're going to be quite strong to use a big hammer, but okay. And we'll use you. Marine, you can figure out the puzzle, please. There you go, Brainy. Successfully completing the puzzle, an audible click rings out and the door creaks open, allowing the party to enter the abandoned house. Okay, this is good. Because whilst we're waiting for this little encounter to unfold, time is passing and we're earning money, which is useful. Okay, we've stepped into a hallway. Remarkably, it looks like the former occupants had never left. What happened to this place? For the party is a staircase. However, it looks set to collapse. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, there is three party action points. And yes, Marine does have perceptive where she can identify the weak points on the stairs. Okay, we're going to use one of our party action points to use her perceptive skill. Okay, so you do that. Intense staring ensues what seems like an age, but the adventurer is confident they have worked out the weak spots. The party proceeds safely. Huzzah! I like the huzzah. That's good. Yeah, we've got marble. We have marble down here, so we're going to have to go down here. Is that our explorers? Is that them? Having a wander about? Oh, this is exciting. I didn't they appeared on the actual map. At the top of the stairs, a corridor greets the party. Hello, says the corridor. This one is far from empty, however. Dangling from the ceiling on thin pieces of thread are hundreds of pieces of glass. One more step could have them falling. What games does this wraith want to play? Okay. Well, Orwin does have mana affinity. So an athletic character can dash through. Or you, with your mana affinity, can remove the shards using magic. That sounds good. For once, something nice. The spell works and the glass shards are transformed into a flock of beautiful butterflies. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's very nice. Okay, happy with that. Right, so what is coming up next? Yeah, I didn't realise that we had our characters actually in the thing. I assume that's them. If it's not, I don't know who it is. Um, 
Okay, oh look at it, it's the same people. <laughs> the people that we're using are the ones that can keep working on all the other puzzles. At the end of the corridor stands a door. No puzzles this time, thankfully. However, it is beautifully decorated in runes of an ancient language. Perhaps it tells them how to open it. Okay, so we've got either a scholar... Oh no, they're both scholars. Um, I mean, let's make her the star of this particular piece. Marine, you can be a scholar and you can examine the runes. There you go. As the adventurer speaks the words aloud, a doorknob reveals itself on the door, granting the party access to the next room. Huzzah! Okay, on to the next... Let's see what's happening. Anything going on? Yeah, we need to come down here then. That's the plan. Because we need that marble to go to school to get on with everything else. Right, here we go. The party steps through the door and into what can only be described as a small library. The walls are lined floor to ceiling with bookcases filled with thick leather bound volumes. It even smells like a library. The party moves to examine the books, but are interrupted by the reappearance of the wraith from earlier. It's impressed they got through the puzzles, but now it's sealing the door and keeping the party as its personal entertainment. Oh, good. So, again, she can help out. She can do Master Charming, but she doesn't need to because Sophina here is also a Master Charmer. It's the hair. It's got to be the amazing hair. Um, okay, let's sweet talk... Uh, <laughs> how do you sweet talk a wraith? We'll sweet talk the wraith into releasing the party. Turns out this guy was a sucker for flattery before they died. They let the party go. And is that it? Are we done? I think we might be sorted, hopefully. Oh, is that the Wraith? I think that might be the Wraith down there. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, I didn't... Yeah, that's exciting. They appear actually on the thing. Can we move you out of the way? Yes, we can. Yeah, there's certainly something just there that looks sort of dead and wraithy. Yeah, that looks like a Wraith. I'm pretty certain that's a Wraith. I didn't realize we could zoom in quite so close. I didn't think we could zoom in this near at all. Yeah, and there's our heroes. Okay, victory is ours. Well done. Well done, Go Go Cupboard Rangers. You've done splendidly. And you've uncovered marble, which is very, very important and seemingly quite rare. Okay, the new weaver is in, but I think we need some more peasants. I don't think we have enough peasant workers to actually go in here and properly sort of staff the place. There's currently one out of six, which is not very good. I mean, let's encourage the dwarves. We'll encourage the dwarves to come in and work as weavers. That's fine. There is a supervisor, which is nice. Reduces the chance of fire. Oh, if they're humans. Okay, that's fine. Um, oh yeah, it's humans increasing the efficiency in here. So yeah, we'll encourage humans, but it's fine. There aren't any. Um, and we'll do an upgrade. So yes, please. We will do the upgrade to make you a little bit more efficient. But yeah, we need some more We need some more peasants. Uh, okay, that's fine. We have ourselves a little bit of space over here where we could put some peasants. So maybe that's what we need to now do. Get more of a workforce going on. Because, yeah, we're not able to get people working in all of our things. I mean, there is space over here. Yeah, we're working all the way over here. Obviously, we're going to ward the coal eventually. But, yeah, there is room over here as well. We could have ourselves a nice peasanty bit of town over here. Do you know what? Let's do that. There's a bit of a road coming down this way, a bit of a gap. We can have a nice bit there and a bit there. And then we could have some houses. Hang on, game. Hang on a second. Right, so a house... Uh, yeah, rotate it round. So yeah, they're near to the they're near to the beautiful drill ship. Right, one and two and three. Oh, we can fit one there as well. Do we want to fit one there, or do we want a road to come round the end for ease of transport stuff? I think we might want a road to come round. Uh, okay, that's fine. We can do that. And then we'll have uh, one there and one there and one there. And then we will have ourselves a road coming this way. That's all good. Could we have a road coming along here? That could be quite useful. A little bit of a shortcut to get round here. So if they are working over here, they can take a little bit of a shortcut and go there. Okay, no, that works fine. That works fine. Right, and then run that up to, say, there and connect that up. And then, and then we have no money. Right, hang on a minute. Now we need to wait for some more money to come in. But at least we'll get some peasant housing in. And then they can go and work over here in this place. Because, yes, we don't have enough people to work there. Okay, right. Get these houses done then, folks. Chop, chop. Okay, peasant houses are in. So that should be... What's that? That should be 12 more people. So hopefully at some point that will then... There we go. Six out of six people. So now many, many lovely basic clothes are being manufactured. Which should hopefully keep everybody over here a bit happier. Because, yes, that is going quite slow. Okay, that's fine. Hang on. Why are those people glowing? Why are they a different colour just there? 
Is it just because they're walking past the boundary of the magic totem of give us all your cash thing? I think it might be. Hang on. What if we turn it off? Oh, yeah. Okay. I thought it was highlighting something specific, but no, it's okay. Right. So we've got that in. That is all good. We are bringing an okay amount of money again. That's actually come in quite nicely. How about we now try and get in this over here? Let's try and get the coal. Is there nobody working over here at all? Maybe now that'll change. Now there's some people that live over here. They could go and work over there, <laughs> possibly. That sounds terrible. Hang on. We'll get some more couriers, please, because they're very, very useful. Um, and yes, let's connect this up now. Um, because, yeah, we needed to... Hang on a second. Uh, where is it? Primary industry and a coal mine. Hang on. What did we need for a coal mine? We needed wood. Okay. Oh, there's a thing. The bare minimum. We'll time out in 12 days. Oh, crikey. There's a thing that I've not noticed. Pop it up in the middle of the screen. Uh, gods above, cover your eyes. The weavers have staged a mutiny of sorts and gone on strike. Oh, We've just gone to that trouble of getting them in. Clothing stocks are depleted and some people have had no choice but to go about their daily business in the nude. Oh, uh, uh, look away, everybody. Quickly, avert your eyes. Look, at, look up at the sky. The clouds have got an interesting formation all of a sudden. The weavers are asking for a small pay rise in exchange for going back to work. Please end this madness. For the sake of everybody's sanity, give them a raise. Plus 10% maintenance on weavers for four months. Force the weavers back to work and never speak of this traumatic time again. <laughs> Minus 20% efficiency for four months. Or, who cares, let them get on with it. Minus 20% maintenance, but minus 80% efficiency. Which means that they're not going to do anything. Um, we'll pay 10% extra maintenance. It's all fine. Everybody, it's all fine. We can have clothes again. It's splendid. Right, we need some wood. However, all oh, these places haven't got any wood. Right, plant some trees over there. And... You over here, plant some trees, and then get chopping them down, please. Because we need wood to get a coal mine in. I'm determined to get this coal mine in and sorted. I just want it in now, because we're going to so much hassle to get this in. So we need a load of wood and a load of crescents. Um, extra taxes are timed out with something or other. Okay, fine. A thing timed out that I didn't see, because it doesn't pop up enough in my face in the middle of the screen. But okay, that's fine. Right. Money is coming in very nicely but wood is pretty slow okay fine we'll wait for we'll wait for 200 wood do you know what we have quite a lot of money why don't we just upgrade these houses in terms of density why don't we just say yes okay more people can live in these houses because as well as giving us obviously more money for the extra people that work here it's also a load of extra people so that's what an extra 12 people to go and join the workforce I mean, maybe they can go and work over here because apparently nobody wants to work in this wonderful warehouse. Fit to burst, although well, nobody works here. Okay, well, there we go. At least we've got some extra people in. Hang on a minute. That costs wood to do that, doesn't it? I think it costs wood to upgrade it as well as money. So we just gathered a load of wood that we're waiting for and then we just spent it on upgrading these houses. Okay, brilliant. Well done. That was a splendid move there, Penge. Let's not do anything else now. Let's just wait until we've actually got ourselves enough wood. Oh, hang on. There's a thing. The form, of the, the form of the stone miners decided not to pay his staff. The staff are angry. Okay, force the foreman to pay up, plus 50% maintenance. Yeah, okay, fine. Pay the people. You can't make them work for nothing. That's just silly. On this warehouse over here, where nobody wants to work, I wonder if we can go and encourage the dwarves. Can we encourage dwarves to go and work here? Ah, yes. Somebody has come over already. Ashton Strong. Sounds like a good noble dwarf name. Very good. Um, so yeah, they can come over here. And yes, if... The proficiencies are met. So if we have two dwarven workers, it means the efficiency goes up by 20%. No, not by 20%, by 20, which is useful. That is a good thing. Okay, that's fine. How are we looking for, how are we looking for wood? We've got enough wood. We have enough wood. Oh, happy days. Right, okay. Pop that there. Then can we get ourselves a road, please? And then can we get people in here? Broken mill will time out. Careful, the windmill appears to have broken down. Without it, the bakeries can't make bread. Um, send somebody to repair it. Or just ignore it and hope that nobody notices. Uh, no, we'll, we've got 90 crescents. We'll send somebody to go and whack it with a hammer and fix it, please. I think I spot a bit of a problem here. Okay, we might need to do some stuff with trade routes. Because over there is the coal mine that we want to get built. And it requires 200 wood to get the thing all set up. And that's fine. We've got plenty of wood, I think. If we look just here, we can see that we have 467 wood. However... That place over there is out of range of that warehouse. So that warehouse is never going to deliver 
to that place there. It's just out of range, which is somewhat unfortunate. So what we need to do is we need to move some of the wood from there to this one here, to this warehouse. And when wood is in this warehouse, they can then move it over to there because the coal mine is within range of this warehouse. So I think what we need to do is we need to go to the world overview and we need to do some trade routes. Okay, so go from, right, create a trade route from there and add a new stop to there. So go from the small storage box to fit to burst. Right, edit the small storage box and just take, I don't know, load some wood. Load, I don't know, 25 wood or something. That'll do. And then here, unload. Can we do that? Can we load into the trade current? Okay, hang on. How do we confirm? Ah, confirm that. And then here, edit. We will take, so unload. Is there a button we can press to do all of it or something? I don't know. Uh, right, 25 wood. There we go. No, don't load anything else. There we go. Right, that is good. Okay, so they're going to move wood between those two places. So at some point, some wood should appear in here. I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know who's doing all the work, but it is going to move over at some point soon, hopefully, maybe. I think looking at this warehouse here, whilst we wait for the wood to come in, which seems to be taking an awfully long time. No, that's beef. Can you put some wood in here, please, somebody? Um, whilst they're doing that, I think we might want to amend the trade route to move the wool, at least some of it, back from this warehouse over to this one because this one is nearer to the nearer to the weavers hey there's some wood in there finally and they're taking it over to here okay good that's going to take ages that's going to take so very long right let's just go and very quickly just amend that um go and amend that trade route um so yeah go and fiddle about with this and uh where we're we gonna do this edit that stop yeah so load up and uh, we'll do i don't know 25 again so load 25 wool so yes, please, whatever it is. Yeah, we'll, and then there we will unload 25 wool. Oh no, hang on, hang on. No, 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 what we need to do is then add a new stop just there and then edit that and then unload all of the wool. Yeah, there we go. That's what we do. So it goes back, right? Okay, that's fine. Sorted, right? Tick that, tick that, that is all good. Right, and now, how much has that got in it? 25. <laughs> it's going to be a long time until that's done. We're going to be waiting for absolutely ages. Look how much money we've got, though. <laughs> Possibly we should do something about that. Maybe we should build some more houses and stuff. Do you know what I think we'll do? I think what we'll do is we will finish up for now. So let's pause time for a second. In fact, no, let's let things actually tick on because it might actually put some wood into and get it over there. So, uh, yeah, we'll finish up for the moment. But when we come back, we will work on this. We'll get the coal mine done. And that means we can get coal. That means we can go down to here to power up the iron smelter so we can get iron ingots. That means we can then make some tools out of that, which is good, which then means we can, I don't know, do some more upgrades and things. Then we can get tools. Then we could possibly build ourselves a medium uh, warehouse because I think we need tools to build a medium warehouse. So then we could get rid of this little one and put a medium warehouse in. And then at some point we can go and get this. Where is it? Go and get the marble over here which is a little bit of a distance away. So I don't quite know what we're going to do with this. I have to have a warehouse down here and then ship the stuff through the tunnel. But I'm sure we'll work it out. So then bring the marble over to here to build a school for over here, which means that we can then unlock some of the stuff. I've got very com confused and it's all very complicated with various chains and things we need to do stuff. But I'm sure it'll all be fine. It will all be fine. We will get it all done next time out. They're very slowly working on the coal mine. And yeah, we've got loads of money. So we'll build ourselves a whole new bit of town over here. We'll build a whole bit of town over here with, yeah, we'll put a marketplace in as well. And there could be loads of peasants over here. Maybe over here we'll have ourselves possibly another farm. And then maybe some sort of uh, yeah, proper fancy citizen houses over there and such like. So yeah, peasants over here. Maybe expand out that way a bit. Residents, sort of, uh, not residents, citizens over here. Farms over here. And we'll just make the place bigger. But we'll try and fill up into this corner. Because we might as well. It's here. It's open space. We'll use that space as best we can. But yes, we shall do all of that kind of stuff next time out. Because we'll finish it for the moment. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, then please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Distant Kingdoms. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. Move out of the way, friend. I'm going to completely ignore you and do some comment moderating. <laughs> Kung Fu Croquet. 
Maria, you've broken my heart. There you go, some more flowers that I stored at the back of my pants. Lovely, there we go. As you can see, I'm having the wildest of times. Enormous banana mask. <laughs>